Hi there, I'm Christopher Dunnigan. This is Handmade in Vermont.com. Today we're talking about the Hubbardton Forge Atlas Semi Flesh. This is the 121380. There's also a super pendant version of this Atlas. Check it out. It's either going to be under dining pendants or it's going to be under kitchen pendants. Might be in both of those places too. Let's get in the size of this 16.2 inches from the bottom of the fixture to the ceiling itself. 13.9, which is about there, 13.4. And that's because the, the difference because between those is because of the metal on this. But when you get into the glass, it's going to be a sphere, okay? So canopy up in the ceiling is 5.2 inches. It's going to go over your 4-inch junction box. We talk about this all the time. I want to show you a little bit more information about this and how we do it. We look at the installation's instructions. If you're on the page for this on Handmade in Vermont, look over on this side of the screen. Midway down, you're going to see a link. It's going to say, click here for installation's instructions PDF. So open that up for me. It's going to have a full parts list and it's going to show you how it all goes together which is super fast and very easy so um, take advantage of that you'll see that that installation instructions is going to be on every page of our site and it's a great way for you to see all of these things together as well as um, inside of canopies little, little details like this it's not a very heavy fixture it'll just hang from your regular j-box without a problem let's talk about what's going on inside let's touch on glass first really so the glass on this is going to be opal, which is a white glass from Hubbardton Forge. It's opaque, so you're not going to be able to see what's inside. And I will get into opal glass a little farther in the video. But let's talk about what's inside of this. So, what you can use is up to 100 watt incandescent. And anytime they, they say a limit of 100 watts or 60 watts or whatever, it's because of the heat generated by an incandescent bulb. When we get into LEDs, put in whatever you like. So as long as it fits in the glass, you're good to go. It's going to be using a medium base socket, which is just our regular larger screw-in socket. Okay, very simple and easy. You can use whatever kind of incandescent you want as far as it's maxing out at 100. But when you get into LEDs, like I said, you can do whatever you like. So type A is just this, this regular size, this guy right here. That's a bulb we all grew up with. You can get it in these kind of opaque versions. You can get it in the clear versions. The difference between these is inside of this is a cob LED, which I don't think I have one. Well, I can show you one in a, uh, a version. Hold on a second. Okay, this is a different type of ball, but it'll give you the idea of what a cob's like. So those little tiny facets, it looks like a corn cob, and that's generally what's inside of these guys. This is a phosphorus one. So phosphorus ones have these long strips or pads of phosphorus which glow as the light, uh, electricity goes into it. So that's the difference between these guys when you see them out in the marketplace. They do a fine job either one. There's no right or wrong. Um, just take advantage of you know sales or whatever you can get to get the right one. So, so both of these are A19s and, and that's the recommended size for this. But if you really want to get more light out of this, if you desperately need um, you know, a ton of light, and don't forget A19 bulbs, you, LEDs, you can find out in the market up to 150 watt equivalent. So don't be afraid to grab those. This is an A20. See how much bigger this is? This can go up to almost 200 watt equivalents out in the marketplace. This will fit in there too. So if you really needed a ton of light, you could do that as well. Like I said, your only limitation is the bulb getting in the glass, and it's a nice big piece of glass. You also get to choose the color of the light coming out of those LEDs. This is 3000 Kelvin. It's a nice warm light, which I tend to like. It makes that white glass look really pretty. Um, if you guys want to have it a little cooler, it's called daylight, and that's actually uh, 4000, 5000, 6000 Kelvin, which is super on that blue or white or light. But I tend to like this because I just happen to like that nice warm incandescent look. So I want to touch on Hubberton Forge's glass for just a second. Hubberton Forge's opal glass is not just another piece of white glass. This is actually hand-blown glass. All of their glass is hand-blown. And to begin with, it's actually a clear piece of glass to start with. And then they come in a blow, a second layer on the inside of white glass. Then they come back and they do a third step where they sandblast the entire outside. So you'll notice when you get these in your hands, they actually have layers of glass on them on the end. You can see them on these two pieces. And it gives it this really soft, uh, semi-transparent, kind of milky quality. It's, it's a soft, soft glowing piece. Really, really pretty. You know, they're really obsessed about details at Hubberton Forge. And a lot of people don't, um, I don't think they appreciate it out in the world, but you appreciate it because that's why you guys are here watching this video. There you go. Let's talk about Let's get into metal finishes now. If you're on our website, handmadeinvermont.com, do me a favor, look over on the left-hand side of the screen. You're going to see a lot of red tabs over there. 
One is going to be the Finishes Help Guide. When you're done with this video, go over there and open that up for me, and you're going to see a video at the top of that page of me talking to you guys about the differences in Hubbardton Forge finishes and how they can look on different types of forging. I'm going to be referencing a color chart just below the video, so scroll down a little bit, you'll see that chart. You'll notice there are pictures that have the letter A on them, pictures that have the letter B on them, and I'm going to be talking about that range you can see in variance on there in that video. So it's really important to watch the video, use that chart. When you're done with all that, come back down to that chart. You can click on any of those pictures and see a lot more samples of Hubbardson Forge fixtures in that finish. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in dark smoke, click on dark smoke. If you want to see a bunch of stuff in vintage platinum, do the same and so on and so on and so on. That's a great way for you to see a lot of Hubbardton Forge stuff in different finishes and really take advantage of that, okay? So our showroom in Vermont has over 350 Hubbardton Forge fixtures spread across two floors. <clears throat> we have a what's on display page on our website. It's going to be back in the red tabs over there. A lot of good things in that, that section check out. So when you open that up, you'll see it's all divided up into different sections like uh, dining pendants and outdoor lighting. We're always adding to that. This is the biggest showroom in the world of Hubbardton Forge. They don't even have a showroom like this. Nobody does. And they use this as their showroom when you guys come to Vermont to visit us. So lots and lots to see here. <clears throat> you can see all the different glass, all the different finishes, all the different fabrics, all of those things. In addition to that, we have a clearance center. So the clearance center stuff are returns, discontinued things, and showroom samples. That's an amazing deal for you. If you guys want to take advantage of that, you, gotta, you have to come here to, to Vermont to see us. And when you do, do me a favor. Measure all the kind of things about your project and what you guys are doing. So the most important thing is measure your ceiling heights to begin with. Measure distances between junction boxes and like windows and ceilings and those kind of things. So we, if you're looking at sconces on the wall, you can see if they're going to fit for you. If you're doing pendants over a kitchen island, measure the distances between those junction boxes widths of tables, kitchen tables, dining tables, uh, lengths of tables, islands, all that good stuff. <clears throat> and also uh, do a couple more things. If you guys have some tablets or iPads lying around, take pictures of all these things. Take pictures of the, of the kitchen, take pictures of what you're, the projects you're doing. Bring that in so we can kind of go through those pictures together and we'll be able to see what you guys are up to, okay? And also the boxes and clearance stuff, for clearance stuff, are basically uh, packed for shipping. Don't forget, these were supposedly shipped out. So <clears throat> the boxes tend to be on the bigger side, so bring a decent size SUV if you want to take stuff home. It's a really good opportunity for you. When you buy your Hubbardton Forge fixtures from HandmadeInVermont.com, shipping is free to every state except Alaska and Hawaii. There's no tax if we ship out of the state of Vermont. We're the only dealer that offers 90-day returns and no restocking fees. That's three months after you receive something to send it back, and there's no restocking fee on that. Some larger items and custom things, and it's usually going to be big things on pallets, are going to be non-returnable. It'll always tell you on the page for uh, an item if that is the case, so always keep an eye out for that. And we also offer a rush program. So to get all these different metal finishes, Hubbardton Forge doesn't stock. It, they generally take about three to four weeks to get product out. We can cut that time in half, and it's really, really inexpensive. If you want to know more about that, just drop me a quick email, and I can clue you in on details, okay? So our showroom in Vermont is open every day except Sunday from 11 to 6. I'm here every day except Sunday from 10 a.m. to 6 p.m. Eastern Time. If you want to drop a quick email, you can do that all the time. And that's going to be at sales at handmadeinvermont.com, and we spell out the word Vermont. <clears throat> or you can call me during business hours, 802-446-2400. So thank you for stopping in today, and we'll talk to you guys soon. Take care. Bye-bye.